Hello, I'm Dr. Richard Okoye. There's something I want to share with you. You should never allow to happen to you, your loved ones. No. If you have back pain, listen to me. As simple as we do talk about it. If you have back pain, that tends to have God say waste pain sometimes going to the knees and all that. Please permit me to tell you, you have a serious problem. If you don't watch out for what I'm going to show to you right now, a pain like this may come, but I never wish it. Please listen to this. This is a young lady that actually narrated the pathetic experience of the father. And he said this among so many people today, paralyzed by reason of back pain. And here she said, Good day, Dr. Save Life. My dad has been bedridden since 2020. He started mysteriously with back pain. One night he shouted he couldn't walk again. The next day he, he started pooing and urinating without knowing. We took him to hospital and prayed with nothing changed. Is there anything that could be done to help him? Come on, please listen to this. Because majority of us in this side of the world, when we start having back pain, particularly one you couldn't explain much, having waist pain or knee, we say it is an attack, somebody poison you, before you keep on waiting and get paralyzed, listening to know what exactly happened to this very our brother here and what ought to be done in the present dispensation to avert this kind of misery. Please look at this. From your neck, all right, down to the hip, you have about 33 pieces of bone. Go join them together using this particular thing that is called vertebra disc. Please see the important. This is just like chalk absorber. If you look at the structure here, if I did chalk absorber, have a space for here. In other words, there's a purpose God created this. This is where the nerves will eventually come out. All right? These nerves ought not to be compressed. And when this is right there, there's no pain. Nevertheless, whatever that causes this to be compressed, as you can see in the case of this, this is what is called hyniation. Once it's pressed on this, pain can come from the waist and goes down, goes to the thigh and go to the knee. But someone will be saying, no, I'm having waist pain. The problem may be coming right there from the back, all right? Now, looking at this also, in a scenario, Somebody is having something like arthritis, okay? You know, sometimes some of the uh, women, you can see arthritis tend to defigure them or make them have a bow. And if I now, when you are having a person now, working with what's sick in this dimension, is also disfiguring that spine. And over the time, this very person may start having a back pain, secondary to that abnormal gait right now, okay? or somebody who has arthritis of the hip, or what they call a vascular necrosis of the head of the femur, which you can also see in sickle cell anemia patients and all that. And when such happen, they find out that there could be limb length discrepancy, and when this person is walking together, is walking in that very form, over the years, it may also possibly cause such a pain. So now, we're going to find out what possibly happened to this very person's dad? Not to be in position to urinate without knowing, pooing without knowing. Do you know how miserable such can be for a man or a woman? But check out what brought about the paralysis. Now, if you look at this, you can see this is the last segment of this particular spine. They call it the lumbar sacral spine, all right? Now, that particular place, you can see there are about five pieces of this bone joined together. However, from this very third one down, the nerves that come out from here, that particular nerve controls 
the urination or feeling that you want to urinate or bladder control or the sphincter control for you to for you to stew. In the situation, this is trapped. You know what? It will cause a condition that presents in a typical picture of the father of this lady. And you know what? This person will have what is called coda equina. This coda equina, when that happens, control will be lost. And this person will be pulling in the pan and all that. Good news, but very unfortunate. You only have 24 to 48 hours for urgent surgery to decompress that particular place to be done. You can imagine the situation we have in the country when such an emergency may arrive. I don't know where you will be and the facility that will be close to you to be able to deliver that. It becomes imperative, therefore, for me to let you know, please, let's broach off this demonic mentality. I much poison, that's why I have arthritis. I much poison, I'm having back pain, I couldn't get off. Come on, these things could happen. And it happened in different fashions. It happened in different fashions. It can be that the thing is getting old, is bulging, and is staining out. And a lot of them. These are what is called spinal spondylosis. Spinal problems in different formats. And the good news is that these things can be addressed today. Can be addressed today. In this particular time that boss we saw earlier, you can do minimal surgery, minimal invasive surgery, where you don't need to cut the body as open as it used to be then, and nicely take up this very one out. You know the good news here, this very fellow can work without a need of physiotherapy. Also, if you have a problem that has to do with me, arthritis that has started disfiguring you to affect your spine, give it attention as early as possible. You have a hip related problem, it can be corrected today. Come on! If you know the pain of a man hustling and getting paralyzed at home, a woman being in position who used to hustle and move out and now couldn't be able to work, you don't understand. Pain is a killer. But what still is if it's ignored, and give rise to this kind of misery. Please, share this to everyone you know. Let's today begin to understand whatever happened to us in our bodies. Start from the known before you go to the unknown. Right here in Nigeria today, excellent job can be done. Right there on the knee, on the hip, and on the spine. And this very person will get back to work within 10 days absolutely possible absolutely possible share this video to everyone you know let us say affliction shall not rise again the second time god bless you as we see you again